The next two editions here uh, were done by Ignaz Moscheles. Ignaz Moscheles was an important figure in the 19th century. He was a pianist and music pedagogue. He was the teacher of Felix Mendelssohn, for instance. And he was pretty close friends with Beethoven, so he knew him well as a person, as a character, as a musician, and as a composer. So his editions are an important source for Beethoven's works. This first edition came out in 1840. It was done for a publisher named Speer in Braunschweig in Germany. And if you go to the first movement here, we observe something very surprising. The metronome marking has changed. Instead of minim 138, it's now crotchet or quarter note 138. And we also see that the time signature has changed. Instead of cut time, we find common time here. There is a later Marshallless edition, which was very popular. It came out around 1860. It was done for a publisher in Stuttgart. And if you go to the first movement here, we again see the metronome marking uh, crotchet or quarter note equals 138, but the time signature has been changed back to cut time. So, um, if you look at the time signature at first, um, we can see that, of course, they are different. This is common time, this is cut time, and the option is quite natural that this could be a misprint. And uh, in my opinion, the likelihood is quite high that, in fact, it is a misprint and that it was supposed to be uh, cut time, but of course I cannot prove that. But we can be sure that the metronome marking is no misprint. It's the same in both editions. And in addition to that, there is a statement by Marshallis himself where he talks about this metronome marking and his decision to have the metronome marking. This statement was published in the book The Life of Beethoven, which was published by Schindler and Moscheles, and I'm going to read it for you. So Moscheles says, I have, in my edition of this sonata, marked the time of the first movement 138 of Meltzel's metronome, because Beethoven himself had fixed that number. He gives it with a minim, I with a crotchet. But neither of these can, to my mind, be made to suit the character of the movement. The minim increases it to so fearful a prestissimo as Beethoven could never have intended, since he desired the assai, originally prefixed to the allegro, to be omitted. The crotchet slackens the movement all too much, and although I have, in my edition, allowed Beethoven's numbers to remain in de deference to the great man, yet I would advise the player to hold the middle course according to the following mark, minim equals 116. So, there is the original metronome marking by Beethoven, minim equals 138. Then half that tempo in the two modulus editions, quarter note or crotchet equals 138. And modulus suggestion to go for the middle chorus, as he says, with minim equals 116. I would like to demonstrate these three tempis now at the piano. So I'm going to play the first uh, eight bars of the first uh, movement. And first I'm going to play it according to Beethoven's own metronome marking, minim equals 138. I 
guess you can decide for yourself whether or not this is so fearful a prestissimo, as Marshallis puts it. I'm now going to play the same passage according to Marshallis' edition, so half the tempo with crotchet equals 138. Marshall thinks that this is too slow. I wouldn't be so sure. Sounds quite nice, but that's what he says. Now, he suggests a tempo of minim equals 116. That would be like that. which is noticeably slower, but still rather fast, in my opinion. As far as Beethoven's original tempo is concerned, there is one uh, recording that I know of that actually reaches that kind of speed. It was done by uh, Michael Korstik about 15 years ago, I think. So in case you would like to listen to the whole first uh, movement in Beethoven's tempo, then I recommend that. Um, recording. Also, if you want to learn more about Beethoven's metronome markings or metronome markings in different editions of Beethoven's works, I recommend Martin Nordwin's thesis on the matter, which came out, came out a few years ago. <laughs> 